Okay, hello. Uh, I want to talk to you today about uh, one of my favorite clues in GeoGuessr, and that is Indonesian roofs. Uh, just architecture specifically, I feel like, is a really cool clue. And in certain countries, it's more useful than others, but I think one of the most useful ones is Indonesia. Where should we start? Let's start in West Sumatra, because this is one of the like coolest looking, I would say. So it's these, like, we'll start, I'll show you. Yeah, this one. So it's like a boat shape and it's very pointed, like very dramatically spiky. Like you could impale yourself upon this <laughs> if, you, if you weren't careful. And it's called, um, I wrote it down. What is it? It's called a uh, Ruma Gedang is what it is called, uh, like the building, which I think just means big house very creatively. Um, and they're just like, you can kind of see them from a distance um because they just like really stick up and it's i don't know it just looks really cool and you get these like really nice like details um like look at this isn't this just like really epic i don't know something about it is like really sick to me these like yeah i love these roofs they're so cool so um yeah that's the West Sumatra roof. It's very, very pointed, kind of a, a dramatic, more dramatic version of the North Sumatra roof, which I'll show you the North Sumatra roof. You get these kind of around the Lake Toba area and they're a little bit similar, like they're the same kind of curved shape, but they're much less pronounced. So it's like, I don't know, are there any others here? Not really. It's, um, a much like gentler curve that's still it's still like quite pronounced but it's not quite not quite as um dangerous looking as west sumatra and you still get all these like really cool details like uh, i don't know it's just really epic like uh you don't see anything like this in australia at all um so this is what like one of my favorite parts of geoguessr is just like looking at stuff in other countries that i've never seen before so yeah, they're these really cool like boat shaped houses. Here's some more of them. Um, and they will, yeah, they're kind of concentrated around Lake Turbo. So it's a very like nice specific guess. Um, like if you see these, you, you're you gonna be within a few kilometers probably. Like, I mean, look at this, they're just kind of everywhere. So cool. Um, yeah, and you can also get like smaller versions as well, like little shrines and stuff. They're mostly made of uh, metal, like obviously we're in Sumatra, so you're not going to get like tiled roofs, especially like North Sumatra. Um, but I mean, it's just a whole street of them. Look at this. It's so cool. All right. So that's uh, North Sumatra, West Sumatra. Um, they are a little similar, but I, I you shouldn't mix them up because they are like quite different, like. You, it's just so much more dramatic in West Sumatra. All right, let's look at um, let's look at these ones, the South Sulawesi. So these are very specific to this like uh, Tabonga area, and they're these like you've, you might have seen these before because they're just so iconic. They're these like saddle shaped buildings. Um, there's like a bunch of them here. They're just so cool looking. Here are some more. Like, they are, like, you're not going to be in this area a lot, but when you are in this area, they're very common in this area, if that makes sense. Like, it's rare to get, but when you see it, you, like, really see it, you know? Like, you're not going to miss this. Um, here's some bigger ones in the in the, in the the city. So this is in Rantepao. Um, yeah, and you can just see them. That that dis really distinctive shape, a subtle shape, um, and there are some other there are some other roofs that are specific to South Sulawesi as well, but that one's just kind of the most like recognizable. Um, look at let's look at Bali. We'll finish with Sumba. Um, Bali, I I picked this. It's less like dramatic and iconic, but Bali roofs. Uh, it, and it's very common throughout Bali, right? Bali roofs will have this like kind of ornate tr 
rim you'll get like pointy like curved bits like is this just this decorative kind of pattern on the sides of, of the roofs and you'll get it on like like in North Sumatra you'll get it on like miniature little shrines but also just like on all the houses right like this kind of thing and you just see it everywhere like I mean this one doesn't have it but it, it's like super common throughout all of Bali so it's quite useful like yeah see the the like ornate bits um, and this can be useful to like distinguish it from Java if you're not sure because obviously it's tiled roofs in Bali typically but yeah this like these dec decorative bits are specific to Bali so it's just a good one to know because it, it can be really helpful. You can also get these like little thatched ones sometimes. Um, but yeah, just like every roof has like these little decorative bits. And it's um, a very useful thing to be aware of. And yeah, it will mostly be tiled roofs. Because um, you are in pretty close proximity to Java. And then uh, we'll save best for last. Sumba, I think, I think these ones are my favorite. Because they're <laughs> just so tall. So unnecessary. Like, what is this? It's like a, so it's kind of like a, like a witch's hat is a good way to remember it. Um, and it's specific to this island. So you can get really good guesses. Like, look at this. It's so distinctive through, like, the trees and the, uh, I don't know. Like, they're just so cool. I don't know why I love them so much, but... It's just, it's just like, like who designed this? Who made this choice? Because I, I don't think it's practical. It's probably difficult to build, but it just looks so fun. Um, and yeah, unlike Bali, this will mostly be... Like, I think metal usually, like sheet metal. Because we are in the nooses. Um, yeah, and this, like, it's a little bit less pronounced here, but you can still tell that it's very much a somber roof. And here again, it's the same kind of thing. You can get smaller ones, but Sumber, I think they're usually on, on pretty like decently sized buildings. Um, but look, they're just everywhere. Like again, you like you won't see them all the time, but when you do see them, you know exactly where you are, and it's super useful. So that is that. That is five pretty iconic Indonesian roofs that are just very useful to be aware of. I'm certainly not an expert in Indonesian architecture. I just find this stuff really fascinating and um, I find that it's a really, a really useful clue for GeoGuessr. So this has been just a, just a few little, little hints for uh, Indonesia because it, it, it is a tough country, but oh, look at this. Look at this. It's so cool. Look at this. I love it. I love it. Oh, I want to like go to Sumber and just like live in a house with an unnecessarily tall roof. <laughs> They're just so cool. I hope you found this maybe useful slash interesting. Um, I could maybe make another video going a little bit more in depth into some other ones as well. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just quickly go through some of the more iconic ones because they're definitely useful to know. So thank you for watching and I'll see you later.